You can never have too much Darkwing Blast. Let's go. What's up guys, Max back here, your move coming at you with my favorite set, Darkwing Blast. I, like I said, I am determined that this is the set that's gonna be giving me a Starlight. I am opening more of it because it has good value. Even if I don't get a Starlight out of it, I can sell some of these cards for a good value. And I, there's still really good cards in here too. I know, tier limits may be trashing the meta right now with the Shizus, but the cash tiers are gonna be coming on strong. Uh, and the Viz deals are gonna be around for a while. I, and because they just do so much awesome stuff, this is a good set. As I said, probably gonna pick up a couple of boxes just to keep aside, just to keep for keepsakes and keep them sealed. But for now, we're opening this one. <laughs> and we're not gonna waste any time here. We're gonna get started on the right-hand side, see what we can get today. Hoping we can get a Starlight finally. Finally get a Starlight. I know I say that so often, but you know, the, we gotta keep the dream alive. <laughs> gotta keep the dream alive. Even though we have not had the best luck with the uh, Starlights, I have yet to pull one. For those who are new to the channel, I have never seen a Starlight in any of my pulls and I have opened, hey, that is a good way to start. That's a good omen. Bestial Magma, that's actually a really high value super. So that's a good start. But as I was saying, if you're new to the channel here, I've never pulled a Starlight ever. I've opened well over 60 uh, boxes at this point. I've never pulled a Starlight from any of them. Uh, and you guys can go back and look at my catalog and see I've pulled uh, plenty, I opened plenty of boxes, Power of the Elements, D uh, Dimension Force. This set I've opened just about a case at this point and still have not pulled a Starlight on camera. I, and I've opened other sets too, Eternity Code, so on and so forth, and have yet to get a Starlight from any of them. Um, before I, uh, I started the channel, there were many boxes I'd opened as well too. Um, I, I might go ahead and uh, go back and open a couple others that I never opened on the channel, but I did enjoy opening, like Battle of Chaos. I really liked opening that set. I, Dynamorphia came and went pretty quickly, but it's a fun deck to play, actually. I, I, I like the way that mechanics work on it, and there's just some good cards in there. I would love to re open that again on the channel. That is our first ultra rare here. It is a Blackwing ultra, uh, ultra rare. Not the highest value one, but still, it's a Blackwing. Love to see the Blackwings. We'll leave that out there. Uh, as I had said, though, in earlier, I would really like to get some more cash tiers out of this. Um, maybe at least... Uh, the unicorn shot up in price. I would love to see another one of those. Would love to see a Fenrir. Fenrir is still sky high value. Nine. And that's part of what makes this box so valuable. And you get one ultra rare and you paid for your box. And Castier Birth, that's actually a really good spell card for the Castier. It's your only real spell card, I think, right now. But I, that is an awesome spell card. If you guys haven't read that one, take the time and read it. It lets you normal summon level seven monsters without tributing. Um, and uh, yeah, you can pull that out with Unicorn. Um, it actually lets you search your deck for a spell. So that's what make, it makes Unicorn so good too. One of the reasons why it's so good. Um, I guess Unicorn also lets you banish from your ex, uh, your opponent's extra deck, which uh, and, uh, you just target uh, Kit Kalos and yeah, they're gonna have a tough time then if they're playing tier limits. So that's actually why Unicorn. I think people finally read the text on it and figured out, hey, this card's really good too. Um, <laughs> so, and the cash tiers, I do think, like I said, long-term, they are gonna be really, really big in the meta, really, really good cards. Hoping to complete my play set of Fenrir's here today so that way I don't have to buy one. But we will see. Hey, Blazing Cartesia, the Virtuous. That is not a super high value. I think it's like $14, but I love that art. That, that our girl, Ecclesia, she's been through hell and back, but she still looks just as awesome in there. Uh, and that is awesome. I'm happy to see that. It is a really good secret rare, if you ask me. I do think uh, one Photon Hypernova comes out, that is going to probably raise in price a little bit um, because I do believe there is a Bestial Dragon with Cartesia that's going to be in that set. Don't hold me to that, but I do remember seeing something about that. But Big Rock Dragon, Freki, Amazon Silver, Amazonus's best card in the set, Zalamander, and Donner Dagger for Hider. Nothing else too special there. All right, almost halfway through here. Still got one more Ultra on this side. Love to see another Bissio Magma head in this. And that's again why this set is so awesome to open because even this, 
and even if you pulled everything else, you still gonna oh, enjoy opening it to see what super rare you get. Cause one of those best deals can make, it's worth so much. I mean, that one and then Dra and Drew's one's the other. Hey, Ninja, Jetsu are dope, but can you stay over there? You know what, you, you get to stay in the glare cause nobody cares about you. All right. With that said, that is our second ultra rare on this right hand side. But we're still gonna finish off opening these because we wanna make sure that we get all of our super rares in this. Wouldn't mind a Drew's worm hanging around $10 value. I All right, you right, got the Magma Hut in here, but wouldn't mind another one of those. Inverna Sylph, Goaties, Black Wings, Soul Scissors, awesome. And Brand of Regain, Soul Scissors, love that. Use that in my uh, sprite deck, really good card. Really underrated card, actually. Um, moving along here. Only third to the last pack on the right-hand side. Left side, we won't worry about pack trick. But we're going to keep finishing and doing it here. Hoping one of these will give us a starlight. You know, love doing that pack trick. Helps build the suspense. Is this it? No, hey, uh, this would be it. It's not a starlight. It's a vernisol. That's okay. Vernisols are good guards, too. I do think they're actually going to make some noise at some point um but they're really good actually they're rip monsters you can actually play uh Therion king regulus with them which is kind of cool i love the therions uh, and i kind of disappointed how quickly they came and went out of passion i really actually did like them i love the art on them uh, so hopefully I, they're pretty good with an abc deck hopefully they can make a comeback sooner rather than later but we will see blackwing got tons of those supers now Last pack on the right hand side, moving through. And let's see, is this gonna be the Starlight Pack? This is gonna be the Starlight Pack, isn't it? This is the Starlight Pack, guys. We're gonna will it into the world. Come on, Starlight, Psychic Rover, Amazonas, Naturia, Amazonas, Amazonas, Bex Guard in the set, Blackwing, and nope, it's a Rex for hire. All right, moving through here, onto the left hand side. Still got two more ultras. Still got one more secret rare, and we got a starlight to pull, guys. Uh, we're getting the starlight, aren't we? Yep. Nope. Tilt and Entertainment, Amazonas, Slice of Battle, and Baka the Beast Ninja. We're not getting a starlight out of this pack, that's for sure. But moving through here, and second, and on the left hand side, Turbo Tainted, Super Long Name, Amazonas, Amazonas Hanshi. And Black Feather Whirlwind. Nothing else special. Moving through. Let's go. Come on, Starlight. Come on. You know you're in here. I know there's a Starlight in here. I know there is. This is going to be the box that's going to finally give me one. Cody Cosmos, Amazon's War Chief, and up it's a Mur another Vernacil. Wouldn't mind another Dr Drew Swarm at this point. This one I think is going to be an Ultra. We'll see. If I remember correctly on the other side, this one was an ultra. I believe these packs are mappable. All right, Amazonas, Trivergate Showdown, Ninjutsu Ward, Cucumber Horse, and Blackwing Assault Dragon. That is the cover art there, not a super high value ultra rare, but it looks cool at least. All right, only one more ultra out of this. Uh, are we gonna get the cash share out of this? Are we gonna get our money back on this one? I, I don't know. I'm looking a little rough so far. I was talking about how you get value, good value out of these, but um, your logic aggregator, nothing else special. So far, the pulls have not been too kind. Bestial Magnumunt and the Ecclesia the Virtuous, or I'm sorry, Cartesia the Virtuous are our highest values, and neither one of those, uh, both of them make it about $30 in value total between the two. Blackwing Chinook, and nothing else special. But a starlight would really make this box pop. Would really, really make this box awesome. <sighs> Still got a secret rare. I think this actually might be the box with the secret rare. I could be wrong. Liger, Soul Scissors, Spiritualist, and hey, this tier limits Rucalos. That is not a super high value secret rare, but it's still a cool secret rare. Nonetheless, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I guess you can't pull Rebellion out of everyone. That's fine. But we still got some uh, supers in here that could give us some value. Still got one more Ultra to go, and I just totally rocks in that with two cards pulled there. Naturia, Driving Get Showdown, and Brand of Regain. That's the second one in this box, I believe. 
Come on, let's get another magnum mud in here. Let's get a Jurus worm. Really help the value out here. At least break even. All right, let's see here. Amazonas, Trabagate Showdown, Jitsu Art. This sprite double cross, it's actually a really good card for the sprites. I actually quite like using double cross. All right, three packs left. I believe we're gonna be getting an ultra out of this one. Could be wrong. We're gonna get a starlight out of this one, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna get a starlight out of this one. Come on, let's find it. Amazonas, Soul Scissors, we're gonna in full bloom. And <laughs> nope, it is a Mezzanin, the Battle Ninja Ultra. And this actually marks officially the worst box I've ever opened up these. But even if it's the worst box, I still got some decent cards out of it. I mean, if we get another, if we get a Jurus Worm out of this or a second Magnum up, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, that makes up for most of the box then. Like I said, you get a decent value. It's about 65 bucks for one of these, so. All right, Castier Ogre, Tool, Scareclaw, Goaty Fury. Nope, nothing going out of that. All right, last pack. Is this gonna be last pack magic? Or in the words of my boy, part of the pack, last pack tragic. Let's find out. Cash tier preparations, XP, XE, or whatever, a goatee card. Tier elements, Zalamander, and whoop, whoop. There we go, shade of the goatee. Nope, not the best box, but that's okay. We've gotten some pretty good pulls out of this set so far. This is by far the worst box, but still got some decent cards. Blazing Cartier and Root Callus. Most people would not be upset to see those. Bistual Magma, $50 card there. Mm, I'm not too upset with it. This set's been kind to me overall. So, well, with that said, I will let you guys go. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mama. Till next time, it's your move.